Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Frances and I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, and nursing school. So today I'll be sharing with you my very first visit to the Desert Hills Premium Outlets located in Cabazon, California. So if you seen my previous video, I did do a first visit to the Christian Louboutin outlet here at the Desert Hills Premium Outlets, but I wanted to do a separate video for the other luxury items that I purchased on our trip. Not that many items, but enough to make it a premium outlet haul. So first, I did do a Louboutin video, so I... So technically I can include that, but if you did, I, I didn't mention in my video last time, but when I opened this and did a first look unboxing, I got gypped and it's all final sale, but I haven't contacted them yet. I will after this video tomorrow morning, but I have two right foots in here, a size 36 and a half and a size 38, which was the display. When I took it out, I was like, I didn't try on the display because he said these are brand new. So it was the sales associate's fault for putting two right feet in of different sizes. I will show you. So as I'm talking after I did my previous video, I'm realizing I'm kind of upset and I'm kind of feeling stupid, but two right feet. This is a 36 and a half. This is the 38. Can you tell? Can you see the difference? I mean, this is a display, but anyway, good price for Louboutin shoes. I just hope they correct this because this is obviously not my fault. I don't pack it. The sales associate packs everything back up for you, says, okay, you want these? I'll pack these. I'll find a brand new pair in the back for you. Put them in the box. They put their name tag on top of the box on the counter of the register to give to the person who's doing checkout. And then the name on the tag is like, say Francis is a sales associate. Francis' name tag's on there. They give it to the register person. Register person checks the shoes, double checks it to make sure it's a shoe, but clearly whoever this was, Kevin or Chris, who helped us, didn't check that these are both right feet and different sizes. Oh my God, okay, I'm over it. Right now I'm over it so I can continue this video. We are at the Cabazon Premium Outlets in Desert Hills, which is like, desert. <laughs> so we're headed to the East Village right now, which is all the brands that we want to look at, like Christian Louboutin. The ramps right there. It's so windy, so we're not really happy right now. Oh, they have a Marnie and a Bottega. Oh, there's a zipper in there, a zipper pocket. This one is. This is the same cute AirPod key. Three seventy-five. 
This is so cute. from the little kids Gucci outlet. So we went into Gucci and our experience there, I didn't really record it because it just felt so weird. Oh, and they also had a Celine outlet. Yes, Celine, the new Celine without the Ayuga. Ayuga, Ayuga, I forgot how to say it. The little accent on the E. So we went there when the sales associates just kept following us and I was just like kind of irritated. I mean, I know that they do that in high-end places, but sometimes you need to give the customers their space. Like, yes, we know you're there. Yes, we will go to you if we need something. But yeah, she was kind of like annoying. Anyway, but my daughter, um, I was trying to record too, like to pan out and stuff, but then the sales associate kept following us and I was taking a picture of me and my daughter in one of the mirrors, but then the sales associate was in it. So I'll put that here on the screen. I'll block out her face, but. My daughter, like the mirrors are so clean in there that she freaking ran into the freaking mirror. And I felt so bad because right before it happened, I was like, hey, slow down. You're probably going to run into the mirror. And then she did because she was super excited and super happy to like be running around. But unfortunately, she bumped her head, but she was fine. She laughed after. Look, we're matching, mama. Wee. Ran into the Anyway, so we went to the Gucci outlet. The Gucci kids was pretty dead, but then when we went to the regular Gucci, they have a sales associate follow you everywhere around and then you open things for you. And But it was just like kind of annoying because it's like, well, I want privacy to talk to my husband about like, oh, do we like this? Do we not, you know, and discuss pricing and all that if we want, I don't know. Anyway, so Gucci kids outlet. They have one in Livermore, I know too, but I wanted to get this. Here is the little dust bag for the little Zaza. She does have a little Saint Laurent bag that my husband got me actually for Valentine's Day 2022. But here's the dust bag and then we got her a little bum bag. It's hella cute. It's very modest. Like I feel like it's not too loud, which is why I really liked it and really wanted to get it for her more like me but it's corduroy and it's brown it's neutral brown and tan and then this part actually the belt part it's really stretchy that i could wear i actually tried it on in store because i was like okay i'm gonna confirm that this fits me too so it fits me and i'll actually try it on right now but the detail here is super cute i like how it's very subtle i don't really like the monogram gucci but that's why I didn't want to get it, but it's one pocket. Tan inside. It's just super cute. And I did the test to see if it fits my phone. And it does. So that's also why I bought it for my daughter. Um, so I put it at the very last. And it's really stretchy. I don't know if you could tell. Um, that's the last part of it or the last stretch of it and I'm just gonna try it on for you. I actually don't need it to be all the way so I'm gonna pull it a little bit to give it a little give and then there you go. Mommy and Zara can share this bag like we do with the little Saint Laurent one <laughs> and then also if I guess if I put it all the way I could probably just wear it over the shoulder as well or cross body over the chest. 
or maybe it's a little too snug, huh? But this is the way that I imagine Zaza to wear it. Yeah, it's a little snug, but oh well, it's cute. And I think this one was priced at the receipts in here. This one was 185. I think they still sell it at Harrods, which is like an English brand or department store. But yeah, that's that. So not so much of a luxury item, but we went to Nike. Nike, of course, is the affordable brand, affordable compared to like Lulu or Aloe Yoga. But I had to get my daughter a pair of shoes. She's growing out of her shoes so fast, but I just want to show you these cute toddler shoes. These are super cute. Look at these. And they're easy to put on because they're Velcro. Um, they're all white with a mixture of like tan as the swish. So these are called the Nike Court Royale TDV in the color white club gold. Size 6C. So these are super cute. I hecka like these. And I believe these were $29.99. I don't even know if that's like retail or, or um, outlet price, but whatever. These are super cute not to pass up. So the two outlets that we were really excited to visit was the Christian Louboutin outlet and Tom Ford because Tom Ford, they don't have that or Christian Louboutin at the Bay Area San Francisco premium outlets. So we went to Tom Ford and my husband, he owns like pretty much every pair of sunglasses and eyeglasses that Tom Ford makes or has made in the last 10 years. I'm exaggerating, but he has like at least two to three pairs from each collection, but it was my turn to get some things. So I treated myself to a pair of Tom Ford eyeglasses. So let's go ahead and open this together. So what's great about Tom Ford Outlet, all their frames, sunglasses, eyeglasses are all priced at $200. And you know that they retail starting at $385 or $485 or $480 and up. So Tom Ford box. And of course, the Tom Ford case, eyeglass case. This one's more narrow than the um, sunglass cases. So I'm into cat eye. And I, my pair of glasses that I have, my eyeglasses are Dior's, but they're like jacked up. Like the little rhinestone that's on the side, on the temple part, they are gone and my daughter bends them like crazy. But anyway, I decided to get a pair of Tom Ford cat eye cat eye eyeglasses. So I don't know if you can tell here, but also the sides are metal, not plastic all around. Um, they're gold. So not too much gold, they're more brassy, so it's kind of muted, but my husband has like similar pair. His are more like the classic, I don't know, not cat eye obviously, but classic eyeglass. So yeah, these are how they look on. So now I have to get my lenses put in and my prescription's hella thick or hella high. So it's probably gonna be hella thick. Like, yeah, but I'm gonna get it shaved down hopefully. So yeah, and then the eyeglasses and sunglasses come with a little duster and that's it from Tom Ford. In Lalan, across from Valley and White. <laughs>
So that is my little mini haul from our first visit to the Desert Hills Premium Outlets in Cabazon, California. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you like videos like this, like shop with me um, or little mini hauls from like our everyday type of shopping, our monthly shoppings, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to produce more of these for you. All right, so take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.